All right. How do you fly straight and level? I think about it with three things. One, pitch attitude, power setting, and trim. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, to fly straight and level VFR is I'm going to find an outside visual reference. Out there on the horizon, I see a lake. So that's going to be a good outside visual reference point. I'm going to use that. So step one, set your pitch attitude. So I have wings level. I got a distance I'm going to keep between the horizon and the cowling of, and the nose of the airplane. And I want to keep that steady. Boom, freeze it there. Power setting. I want to set 2200 RPM for straight and level flight at 95 knots. Now adjust my trim to relieve control pressures. Next step, we'll look at our performance instrument. So, looks like I'm maintaining level flight pretty good already. Maybe if you're in a climb or a descent, what you're going to do is you're going to go through those steps all over again. So, I'm going to readjust the pitch attitude. Okay. Check power setting, just trim, look at my performance instruments. Just keep doing that over and over again. If you ever notice, uh, for example, maybe you're climbing. So I'm in a little bit of a climb. All right, notice my VSI is climbing, my altimeter is climbing. I'm off on my airspeed, little low. I'm going to make an adjustment. So I'm going to set a pitch attitude. Adjust my power setting, and then see how that affects my instrument. So it's not enough. We want a little bit, adjust the pitch attitude, power, trim. All right, looks like I'm heading back to my altitude. Got my outside visual reference, so I'm maintaining straight flight to that reference point right now. Uh, for me, it's about a 265 heading. There's my altitude. Okay, readjust the pitch attitude, power setting, check my instruments, set trim. Pitch attitude, looks good, power setting, trim. Just going to keep doing it over and over again all day long. But it's really important to focus on the basics. The number one common error when it comes to straight and level flight is getting sucked in on those instruments. And what's going to happen if you do this is you get sucked in on the instruments and now you're chasing needles. You're looking at your altimeter and your VSI and then you're just chasing it. But you got to remember, those are lagging instruments. So they got a few second delay. You do that, man, you're going to be all over the place. It's not good. Hey, hope you see value from watching this video. If you'd like to learn more from me, I invite you to take advantage of a free 14-day trial of Flight Labs Mastery Programs. And inside, you're gonna learn how to take control of your training, elevate your flying skill, and experience a new level of confidence in the cockpit. So, link for that's in the description below. Check it out, and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.